I love trying foods that are native to a region. I've eaten key lime pie in Key West, buffalo wings in Buffalo, Idaho potatoes in Idaho, and U.S. farm-raised catfish in the Deep South. As a matter of fact, since August is National Catfish Month, let me share my adventures from there with you. We went to this place known for their fried catfish. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was so fresh tasting. When I asked the chef what his secret was, he said it was the cornmeal breading and the fact that they use only locally farm-raised catfish. And as we drove through the area, we saw one catfish farm after another. The thing that was so cool was you could actually see as they fed the fish that the food floated, which meant they ate off the top of the freshwater ponds. After a busy day, we headed over to the Crown Restaurant. There, we feasted on catfish cakes in a dish that we fell in love with called Catfish Allison, where the fillets were bathed in a Parmesan cream sauce. That's when I realized that catfish wasn't only for frying. So we came up with a new dish that highlights its versatility. It's U.S. Farmer's catfish coated with a flavor-packed island seasoning and seared in a skillet before finishing it off with a homemade tropical coleslaw. The recipe for our catfish and slaw is online now, so you can bring the taste of the South into your kitchen. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a winning way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm.